Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I would like us to talk about user agent. And um, user agent is a software application that acts as an intermediary between a user and a network. It provides information about the user's operating system, web browser, and a device that connects to the network. The user agent is included in the HTTP requests and examples of these user agents include uh, web browsers and softwares that interact with the website. So in this case, you can be able to uh, check the incoming request to your Laravel application and be able to know from which browser it is coming from, from which uh, version of the browser and from which windows uh, it is coming from. I mean, maybe which uh, operating system it's coming from, whether it's Windows or whether it's uh, Mac OS or uh, Ubuntu or Linux. And you can be able to get all this information. How is this information important? It's important for us to be able to uh, customize for each user the best user experience. For example, the users who use our uh, applications in um, using mobile, you can be able to customize in, other, in, in a way that uh, they can be able to get a uh, good user experience. It can also assist us to do analytics and check uh, which devices our users are using to be able to reach our Laravel application. And then also the other factor that is very important, we can also be able to check the security of our application and also the security of our users. I believe you have checked applications, uh, other applications whereby uh, there is a list of uh, the devices that our user uses in the system and they can be able to revoke a device or something of that sort. And if a user uses a different device apart from that one, then you find um, an email is sent to, 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 to the email address to tell them that there is somebody who is trying to log in from another place and it looks suspicious. And in this case, if they are the ones, then you can, uh, they can continue to uh, just access and ignore. But then if they are not the ones, then they can be able to prevent any attack on their um, specific account. So uh, the last thing that uh, this one, uh, the use agent can also help us to do is also detect the user language. So let us go ahead and see how you can be able to get some of this information. And I would like to just use, um, this one is web.php and this is a new uh, Laravel application. And I would like to just use uh, this uh, route get method that returns the uh, welcome view and it is where I'm going to have our code. So the first way in which we can be able to get the user um, agent, we can say return return, and we can use the global uh, PHP function underscore server, should be capital, server, and then we can um, check for the HTTP user, HTTP underscore user, should be capital all through, user agent, like that and this one is going to give us the details of uh, the user who is me trying to access this application. So I would like to go to the browser. Already I've run PHP artisan serve so our Laravel application is already running. I would like to just check what it's going to return. I'm actually working on Windows uh, machine and it is x64 base, uh, 64, the processor is 64 bit and then also the browsers you can see that I'm using is Chrome. So if I visit localhost 8000, as you can see, we are getting some information that we are using Windows and then 64 bit. And then of course we are using Chrome in this case, but of course it's mentioning Safari and other things, but there is a better way in which we can be able to do this. And um, before we look at it, we can also be able in Laravel to say return so how you comment this one out and uh, so how you comment that one out. We can also say return request and then header. So we check the header over the incoming request. And in this case, we are going to check for the user hyphen agent like that. So even this one, when we we refresh again, we will find that we are getting 
similar information, actually exactly similar information. I would like us to go ahead and install a package that uh, can also be able to be to assist us to be able to do a little bit more and uh, this package um, is uh, called uh, there is a name here that I do not know Jason just agent or something of that sort and I will just uh, connect to my browser and show you where it is but uh, before we do that so let us go ahead and uh, check out that package so we just uh, um, type this just just say uh, Jensen 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 Jazz agent so this is a uh, the package that you're looking for and it's a PHP package so you can be able to use it in a uh, native PHP and you can also be able to now work with it in Laravel so we will we'll go ahead and install it so I uh, will just in our terminal here click and install it and as it installs I would like to pause the video our package is installed I would like us to go ahead and use it so what we are going to do we are going in our config app providers we are going to put this service provider I would like to just open it and uh, be able to have it there. Then, uh, so um, we are going to add this to our providers. And uh, we open config app.php. Now we scroll downwards towards uh, where we have our providers. So let me just scroll a little bit more. Yes, here where we have providers. And I think the way you can see Laravel has actually uh, been changed a little bit. This is not how it used to look in uh, just previous uh, versions. So, but uh, we can be able to paste this one here. And we are also supposed to paste this uh, alias to the agent alias to the aliases so we open here and then you scroll down a little bit more and here we have aliases and I'm going to paste this one also here now after we do that then we are able to use our agent so I'm going to just uh, use it above as follows uh, I will copy this use Jessinger's agent agent like that under basic usage so I'm going to paste it here and after we paste it there then we can be able to make uh, the requests and in this case what we are going to have is uh, to just say agent so I'm going to comment out even this one that we did previously so here I'm going to have agent in the variable agent we are going to have new agent like that and then from there now we can be able to do anything else for example we can be able to uh, check for we can be able to check for the um, browser and before we just we check for the browser, I just want us to just check one thing. For example, we can have an if function. And just check if the platform that uh, the user, the current user, is uh, using, if it is mobile or if it is desktop. Of course, we can say if uh, agent is desktop. desktop and in this case I would like us to return that the agent is a desktop machine so return in this case agent 
is desktop and then we can say else if agent is mobile is uh, mobile in this case we can return that the agent is mobile so return agent is mobile and I will be able to just close uh, this one with a semicolon just to ensure that we do not have errors so obviously this is a desktop machine and there is something that we actually expect so if I refresh as you can see it says agent is desktop so it can be able to detect that i'm actually using a desktop machine now if you're able to access this website using the mobile it will now be able to pass this first uh, condition and then it will come here and be able to say that the agent agent is mobile and this is fundamentally very important because now if you're if you are having a uh, code or maybe layouts in this case whereby they are this layout that you pass here is a layout that you'll be able to be viewed better on a mobile phone then you can be able to do that and in this case you'll be able to ensure that the user will have a very excellent experience now we can be able to also check other things so in this case i would like to um just comment everything here so let me comment everything here because i will be able to have this code um, in github so if you are interested to just look at what i was doing you can be able to look at them and then we can also say return and uh, we check the browser and then so when we check the browser we can just use uh, the helper agent agent browser like that and in this case it you tell us what the browser is so let us attempt and see what we, it you tell us so in this case you can see the browser is chrome and i would like to just copy whatever it is that we have there and i would like us to check the browser version so in this case let me change this to version and then here i'm going to have version and in this case we are checking the version of the browser like that so after that i uh, would like to remove this uh, return here such that it will be passed by uh, the check and then it will stop here where we are asking for the browser so when i refresh again you can see one point i mean 112.0.0 that is the um in this case the version of chrome that i'm using so i will comment this one also and we check for the platform that i'm using in this case for when you're talking about the platform then you're talking about um the either android I mean either uh, um, in this case Windows or or maybe iOS or something of that sort so we can say agent platform like that and this we return our platform so which platform are we in so let me still go ahead and refresh and you can see it is Windows that is very good then we can go ahead and uh, maybe copy this one and also just look for the version and in the, and in this case we are looking for the version of the platform so agent um, version of the platform so in this case i i will uh, remove this and maybe just call it platform so let me just call this platform like that and then this is uh, the variable that i'm going to pass in here to check for us 
the platform i mean the version of the platform in this case so let us attempt and see again if i refresh it is telling us 10.0 in this case windows 10 and that is um, i think very useful and also on top of that we can be able to check if uh, an incoming request is from a robot so maybe even for this i can uh, be able to use a function so i can uh, i can uh, just uh, maybe say return robot and then we can say agent robot and in this case because i'm not a robot i do not expect anything to be returned so let us refresh again this page and see what happens so when i refresh as you can see nothing is being returned so in this case we are checking and you're finding out that actually whatever it is that you're dealing with is not really a robot and i think that is all that um I, I wanted to talk about now in this case you can be able to save the user platform the user machine and the user version i mean user machine version and the browse also on the version and sometimes you might find that uh, the application that you're working on probably does not work on some versions of maybe chrome so in this case if some versions are uh, deprecated according to the uh, program that you're working in or you're working with then you can be able to tell the user this browser you are using is not what i expect you to be using kindly upgrade i believe you have seen uh, websites that actually direct the user in such a way so you can find out that a user agent is a very important one and in this case if you're tracking the user devices you can be able to do that also and be able to pinpoint when a user is using a device that is known to the application or a device that is not known and you can also be able to do it the way it is in a laravel jet stream whereby you can be able to revoke access maybe from a specific uh, device and so on and so forth thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this Point, I ask that you may uh, uh, subscribe. You can also comment. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you like it.